if you've got it. And we're live. I'm live. Are you live? Live and back from Texas. Thank God. <laughs> you <laughs> you enjoyed it. Don't don't kid anybody. I, I, well, kind of. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Hello. You want Miss Ellie? We have Ellie tonight, so I will give her what I need to give her to keep her quiet later. <laughs> what? What So I thought with it being spring now, we would do some blooms. But really, the, the main reason I want to do them is because I have about 50 containers of bloom paint mixed up, and I, I really need to use it. And she got new ones, too. Yeah. You want to show my paintings from last week, Alan? Sure. Do you remember which order you did them in? Yeah, the big, the big one first. The big one. Yeah. This one, Ellie. Ellie. So that was my egg separator. I like the way it dried. Yeah, you know what you're going to get. She ran right to the table. She knew. Well, thank you, Deanne. It's good to be back. All right. Okay. See you in a half an hour. <laughs> So that was the first one. Then you did this round or the oval? I did the uh, the round. I want to try that again. Maybe next week with no silicone. Yeah, that's the one. That I'm like, do it again, do it again. I know. I saw that after I went back and watched, read the chat, which I do. No silicone. Time. I think that would be really cool with no silicone. Yeah, what would you like to say about this? And that was turn it around the other way. That was my dustpan pour. And then later in the week, she got the dustpan out in the house. <laughs> hey, at least you came home to a clean house. So, let's Are see. Last yeah. Monday was the 15th, which was two months from the day. Mm -hmm. How many days, Brian? I'm surprised he doesn't have it down to the number of hours left. Hi, Shirley. Yeah, we had issues with our internet last night. I'm really hoping that they don't kick us off tonight. Yeah, they uh, made me stay up an extra hour because of those internet issues.
Thank goodness for hot spots. That's all I can say. So there was one more thing that you created. Yeah, that was what I peeled out of the... I peeled it out and it stayed nice. Show them the back how nice it peels out. I'm doing great, Ann. I hope you're doing well yourself. So while Alan was away, I played a little bit. I just want to show you a couple of things. She kind of doodles like that. I, I played a little bit. I made some more notebooks. So I have this one. And I even colored the edges gold because I was playing. And then I did this one. I did these as dirty pours. Put all my resin colors in one cup and poured them and then swirled them around a little bit. And then I made two little ones. So they were fun. I put, um, these have the gold and then these have the silver, but I still um, colored them gold around the edge. But they're fun to do. I watched a bunch of videos yesterday, so I've got all new ideas how to do these now. <laughs> the shot says, thank you, Christina, for my painting. Love it. Yay. So... Was it two weekends ago, Ellen? Shelly was out shopping and she said, Oh, you got to go to Big Lots. They have tubs. So I went and I bought four of these for the retreat. Shelly had a question for you, too. Which resin did you use on those notebooks? Those are the Hippie Crafter. Spinner fits in there beautifully. So anything, let me see. Over the canvas. Um, probably can only go with a 12, but I bought this for spinning blooms. So, yeah, that's cutting it really close with a, with a 12. So, I would just, if you're going to do blooms, get a tub. Paint will peel right out. Sue Johnson, who are you yelling shut up to? Probably Brian. Yeah. <laughs> Shelly said, it's my fault. Yeah, it's always your fault, Shelly. Yes, because I ended up buying a bunch of wash tubs to do jugs and bottles. And Hello, Marcy. Thank you. <clears throat> Appreciate you. So we ended up spending like $86 on wash tubs. <laughs> These are nine bucks, guys. So I just mixed up the CA... Um, about a half an hour ago, so I'm hoping it's sat long enough to work well. I may have to add a little more flow trial to it. We'll see. But I felt like blooming today because if you guys could see how many containers of paint I have, it's crazy. Why don't you show them? It's you crazy. Move the, move the camera over and give them a little glimpse. Well, let's see. There's got to be 80 sitting there. At least. Let Brian count. I have... I even mixed up a little bit of that knockout that was in... Oh, let me show most your paintings that I did last week. Right here in front. These? Yep. In case they didn't see the videos. So this was the one. I love the glow from that knockout. And that's what caused it. it wasn't the fire opal. It was the knockout. Thank you, Shirley. I appreciate you. So I gotta, I'm got. i going to resin those two. I think they're pretty. Of course, I didn't tape the backs off, so I'm going to have to do something with the backs. I was just playing that day. Oh, well. Live and learn. Tape everything. So in my house paint, I just use um, Color Place from Walmart. There's no, what's the name of it? Is it Color Place? Did you do that? I, the gallon's right there. I think it's Color Place. Color Place. Yep, Color Place from Walmart. Titanium white, white, semi gloss. Semi-gloss. Yes. 
So I add some GAC 800 to this. So like for this size jug, I use at least a quarter of a cup um, of the GAC 800. And Marcy, I missed your super chat. Thank you, honey. Oh, you saw it? Yes. Okay. So I already have a shower cap on here. Don't care if paint gets in here because it'll peel right out. She's excited about that. So am I. What, the paint's going to peel right out? Absolutely. All right, I'm going to warm up with a six-inch tile first. And Alan will probably do the same. I wish I had a scoop. I packed them all in for the retreat. Let me see if I have a measuring cup. I'll leave this here because I'll need it. So speaking of the retreat, we still have one room available, correct? Yes, we have a bunk bed, full size. Nobody will be sleeping above you. That's still available. All right, so I mixed up some of the alchemy colors, the Finbar alchemies. Um, remember we used the dark forest? Where did I put those? Oh boy. Oh boy? Oh boy. I had two extra that I didn't mix. I bought two of each color. So I counted. There's 81 colors here. 81? You forgot these. I didn't. Well, they're not on the table. 91. There's 100 and something. All right. So this one is our Alchemy Dark Velvet. It's a beautiful color. It's got like a purpley blue... Um, tinge to it. So I'm going to put that on the bottom because it's not a color art pigment. So it should not sink. Thank you, Brian. 53 days, which is 1,276 hours or 76,612 minutes. Mm. Are we going to do that? Or 4,596,746 oh seconds. You guys are nuts. All Good right. job, Brian. So let's put that knockout on top of that. Because I think that'll be really pretty. Uh, Sue Jansen wants to know, who makes the fire opal in your other piece? That's folk art. And that's available. That's not sold out. That's not discontinued. Okay, so now I'm going to put some Shy Rose. This is a color art pigment. This is also um, a, from the Blingit series, so you can use this one in resin as well. So if they say Blingit, you can use them in resin. And then I want... I think I'll do some gold on top of that. Oh my gosh, I have so many, you guys. It's so knockout has not been discontinued. Yes, knockout has been discontinued. And I was going to uh, look that up to see if another company makes that kind of paint. And I have not done that yet because it's wonderful. So thank you, Kathy, because Kathy sent it to me to try to make match for the paint line, but I cannot get that. I can't get that opal look to it. I tried. All right, cell activator. This is Golden's Carbon Black with Australian Floetrol and a little bit of GAC 800. Okay. Hello, Sherry. Now, I don't know if my little tool will reach that far. <coughs> I 
<clears throat> sorry, allergies again this week. So you want to make sure you see a little halo around your cell activator so you know it's working. So I'm going to try my little attachment from Tracy Reed. I like it. <laughs> it's really not skinny. I like my hair dryer better. Well, get your hair dryer. I am. I am. everywhere over here. We need to make a uh, like a power strip for the workbench. So this is my little Revlon. I take the attachments off. They don't have these on Amazon anymore, but I think Boscov's carries them and if you do a search online you might be able to find one. Probably need to hit my reset. Boy. So Laura Thompson said she wants one of those bins you're working in. Working in. <laughs> so my cell activator might still be a little thick. Because normally I get a lot more cells than that. I really love that. Hello, Catherine. Glad dark velvet. Got and the knockout showing up. I also got a lot of white, though. So I'll wait for that to come together. I have my trusty little turkey baster. Come on. She huffed and she puffed. I can't blow any houses down. It's coming. Little bits. This is really pretty. That's a Six by six canvas? Six by six tile. Tile. Yeah. I'm going to put a little paint on those corners while we're waiting. So I don't have any issues when I spin. I like working with house paint because it peels off everything. <laughs> Especially jugs. I wait to let, just let it dry in the jug and then I peel it out. So much easier to wash. All right, she's developing now. Yeah, Monica, Monica Strickland's got a good point. She says, having patience and waiting a few minutes makes a ton of difference. Yeah, I just gave it a little blow to like move that black cell activator. I'm not fond of all that white there, but maybe it'll spin off. But I don't want to lose this here either. Alan hasn't done a bloom in a long time. So we'll see how he does tonight. I have my first one sitting in my office. Yes, you do. I resined it and handed it to you. All right. Looks good. I popped my bubbles. Here we go. It's hard to get a good spin when you're in arms inside there. Let's go one more. Oops. 
I need it. Well, it won't happen after the first one because once you get paint on this, it stays. But it looks good. I'm not going to spin it again. <laughs> it's pretty. I'll just clean up my edges, wipe on my bin. Was that a happy accident? It's fine. It didn't hurt it any. That's one nice thing. Couldn't go very far. Um, you're going to need to set cups up tonight. I know the up top. I see that. That's good because I have a hard time reaching that top shelf. I love that hair dryer, Laura. Because the first click is just cold air. so, And it's not super, super strong. You just have to go in sideways is all. Don't go directly down. Would you like to hang that off to me? No, I'll do it so you don't get your hands off. I put four cups up for that. That's fine. Oops, I see a bubble. Hang on. So what I want you to do, though... While I'm wiping that off, pick your four colors or five colors or whatever. Yeah, the we'll 81. Be, we'll be here all night <laughs> with you having that many to pick from. Um, can you move that big? Thank you, baby. So now I will just... Scrape that off into the bin. And it's ready for Alan. Brian says you need the much bigger bucket. And well, I bought these for the retreat because we're going to be doing tons of tiles. And I can set these out in the sun and let the sun dry the paint, peel it out. Laura Thompson, and everybody's agreeing with her, says she's having issues with her wallet. Her wallet? <laughs> we don't want to talk about a wallet. He turned my light back. Sorry. I, uh, I had an issue with my wallet, with Alan's wallet for Michael's. <laughs> See, the problem is, I, no. I love the color art pigments, and they just came out with another set that I already ordered, because Tammy's bad. She's, I'm going to throw her under the bus. <laughs> as soon as she posted, I was like, oh, i got to go order the new ones. But the problem is, this is the last set that I haven't even mixed yet. And she's got 80-some here waiting to be used. <clears throat> Who's throwing who under the bus now? <laughs> All right, so I need to write that on there. All right, Alan, come pick out your colors, honey. And I'll get you. Want to do any tile too? Yeah, that'll warm you up as a tile. And then we'll go to some canvas. And then I have an oval and, a, and some rounds. So that was. Art Minds Knockout. Am I using the black cell activator? Yes. I didn't make any white. I'm still working on a better recipe for the white so it doesn't get stained by the bigness. Brian's out of flow trial. Brian, go online and order it from Menards. They ship it the next day. How are those? You want a gold or what do you want in there? Interference green. Where's the interference? Over here. Interference green's right here. What about the interference gold? I don't have interference gold. Oh, I do. 
Is that what you want? Yeah. All right. So you have to start with this on the bottom because it's more opaque and these are just pigments. This is a TLP um, called cinnamon. This little piggy from Fluid, Fluid Art Company. <clears throat> Y'all missed me last week, didn't you? Did we tape the tile down? No, it's sticky enough from my painting that it'll stay. You can always just put a dollop of paint down. Ellie, where's your chewy? So my choices where's of your chew -chew? color, and, and you're gonna have to tell them who, who this is from. Okay. So the dark forest. That's the art alchemy. The cinnamon. And that's from, what's it say, TLP? TLP. Yeah, that's this little piggy. Douglas fir. That's primary elements from Color Art. And the interference gold. And that's from primary elements as well from Color Art. Don't worry, baby. I'll help you when you get that part. You help me. <laughs> you know, as soon as Leslie releases one of those kits... I buy it. Usually I mix it up. I try it a little bit. And as soon as I get done trying it, she's got another kit release already. So it's like I can't keep up. So it's all Leslie's fault. It, well, no. That's what it sounded like. You were blaming Leslie. No. Well, it's kind of like me coming out with new colors every season. Except she does it more often, I think. Yeah, you, you do it every 13 weeks or so. So either you're not using them fast enough or she's coming out with them too I'm fast. I'm not using them fast enough because I don't do a lot of blooms anymore and I need to get back to it because I have tons of stuff to use. So one scoop of that paint now. One full scoop? Yep. Scrape your bottom of your cup against the jug. There you go. Is that full? Pretty full. Okay. You're not doing a very good job scraping, are you? Extreme. It's it's the I gotta have syndrome, Brian. Just give me a just a tad. It's okay, because you're gonna spin it. I haven't tried a Dutch pour with primary elements. I should try one. Okay, so I'm gonna go one scoop first with the dark forest. Did you stir it really well? I did. Okay. I put a little bit more, it's a little bit bigger tile. I do too, Brenda. Then I'm going to go with my cinnamon. Same amount, scoop and a half. Uh huh. That's, that's like a bright copper, isn't it? It is. I'm 
then I'm going to go with my Douglas fir. I think people thumbs down because they they come in and see what we're doing and then they're like, yeah, 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 whatever. It doesn't matter. It still helps us in the algorithm. <laughs> Whether it's a thumbs up or a thumbs down, it still counts. And then we're going to finish off with the gold, iridescent gold. Well, good luck, Laura. I'll be praying for you. She's having back surgery on Wednesday. We'll be thinking about you. Everything's going to be all right. Okay. Now you can put your cell activator on. Where do I want to put it? Right on top? On top, in the center, though. Right? Yes. I don't want to cover all the other paint colors. You were going to say something? Oh, about the St. Jude's auction? We're going to do it Saturday, May 1st. More? Oh, you're good. You got a nice little halo going there. Let me, I'm going to torch a couple of, are you blessing yourself? <laughs> blessing the tile. Just give it a quick sweep. Okay. You don't want to burn the shower cap. Okay. So get that red hair dryer. I'm a little off center here. That's okay. So. So you're going to come down from up high and swoop out. Do you want me to hold your hand doing it so you feel it? Be scared. Don't be scared. <laughs> be cheeky. Cheek on. <laughs> All right. Here it goes. Too far using heat. One foot. Okay. That, that hair dryer is very confusing. You got cells. Oh, I like that cinnamon in there. So now we just wait. Now you gotta wait for that center. You can blow it with your turkey baster. Just don't don't mess up with the cells that you have. Just push down in and see. Notice this one is mine because it's <laughs> the last time you used it, I did not wash it, so now it's yours. I got a new one. <laughs> I have two spares too. <laughs> You can get in there. I don't. I really don't want to. I like what's going on right there. Right. So you want to just blow down in here where you want some cells. Straight down. Oh, you blow good. <laughs> just don't blow too hard. You're down to almost the tile. Be careful. Allie. There she's gone. So you're getting the white, so don't blow hard.
Hi. Ah! Shh, 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 shh. It was so quiet last week. Yeah, you blew a little too hard. That's okay. Just leave it now and let it develop. Because see what that one did? I like what that one did. It drew all the green. I was going to pet her. <laughs> Come here. Come here. I still think I need to give it a little more blow right there. No, you can't blow that. It's already down to the tile. you got to wait for that to come back together. Give me that. There's just stuff everywhere, isn't it? <laughs> I'm almost done packing for the retreat. I have to do the toolbox. <laughs> doing. Do you think I should put a little white on Yeah, you this? can or just be... That'll probably I wouldn't. I would still out, put a touch of white with the stick. Don't drip on the rest of your painting, though. She's booping all the things of paint. <laughs> What's he doing? You saw I almost did. I drip. know. She's like, what's he got? I want some. <laughs> it's a popsicle stick. I like that cinnamon. That's pretty. See, now it's, it's just about back. You can go ahead and spin now. Are you sure? Mm -hmm. Now, I'm supposed to spin it fast enough so the tile comes flying off, right? Sure. You're probably going to lose all your cinnamon. Oh, my God. It was lame. <laughs> you don't have to spin it. You have to get the paint off the tile. Okay, so... I think that one was slower. <laughs> I think you're just jealous. Ooh, that's A little pretty. white right there. That's pretty. Um, Deanne, if you go to my home page on YouTube, um, video 500. It's like my um, trailer for my channel. Hey, Daddy's almost done. I think we're good. I think I don't like. What I don't like right that there. either. So, so what? What can we do with that? No, nothing really. Unless you want to spin it some more, and then you're going to lose all that. Yeah, and I don't want to lose that. You need that. to stop. <laughs> now, can you blow any of that out? I wouldn't. Because then you just totally change the um, composition. Because then you'd probably have a deeper mark there. Okay, so. Make sure you wipe your edges. Come here. Push your chest to squeeze your dinner. Come get dinner. see much of the interference gold. 
No, but when it dries and you tip it, then you'll see it. Et voila. That's the Douglas fur that's really showing up. Oh my goodness, she's going to dry me out. Don't drip on her. <laughs> Don't drip on her, Elle. All right. So yesterday, was it yesterday we took her shopping? Yes. She is horrible in the car. But as soon as we got in the store, I took a blanket with me, put her in the shopping cart, in the seat. She was an angel. She was like, pet me, I'm cute. Everybody walked by, one pet her. It's like, why can't you be like this at home? <laughs> I think she ate it all already. We need to get her something that lasts for two hours. And we got her a little toy. Which she chewed it all up. We had to throw it away. She's vicious. All right. Let's move up. Where are we moving up to? A canvas. I don't trust it. I'm going to still put some goopy down. I like to just put a little bit of paint on the edge. And that way it doesn't Thank you, move. Joanne. Okay, so. Thank you, Donna. I want to try some of these TLPs. I love that center tube cap. Let's do. Big bone. Yeah. She took off again today on us when Alan got home from work. He went to go get the mail. She took off. But I had a chicken bone in her bag of treats, and she came running right back to me. So it's like, uh-uh. Caught ya. All right, so we're going to try a little bit of each one. Although I do want an interference. Actually, let's do abalone. Okay, so I'm going to be using the abalone shell, which is a blinget from Color Art. Art Alchemy Frozen Berries. This is a really pretty color. Brian says your spinner and towel are off center. Well, you did it. <laughs> you see how that works, Brian? My OCD would have kicked in eventually. <laughs> Then I have Crushed Velvet from Color Art and Nightfall from this little piggy. So I'm going to start with Nightfall. Get my paint down. Deanne says, if all the things she's lost in her life, her mind is... What is that? Her mind is the most that, that she misses. Yeah, our memories fade. This is gorgeous color. Can't bloom without doing one purple one, right? Move a little bit more. That was Nightfall from this little piggy. Good night, Renee. Thank you for joining us every Monday night, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. This is Frozen Berries from Art Alchemy. So pretty. So I have all of these packed for the retreat. I took a little bit out of each one and made a little batch. Notice how good she's being now. Yeah, because she's sitting on your lap. That's her new thing. Can I sit on your lap? This is Crushed Velvet from Color Art. Thank you, JMP. Appreciate your support. Thank you, Joanne. I appreciate you. Very sweet. 
Okay. Abalone shell. I love this when the black hits it. Lauren says you must have grabbed the bank to pay for those art alchemy paints. Um, I got them on Etsy. I think they were five something a jar. I got spoiled with the dark forest. I had to get more. That dark forest is amazing. Hello, Joyce. I feel like I need one more like interference type color. Well, Linda, glad you could join us. I don't have what's this one? Fresh lilac. Let me just put a touch of fresh lilac on top. It's a little thicker. That's okay. Laura says for 1.7 ounces, that's a lot of money. It is, but I'm only using it for this, and I'm not using it for painting, so um, it'll last a long time. I only used one spoon. And when I say one spoon, Joyce, my this is the spoon. <laughs> it's amazing the temperature difference in Laredo versus up here and even further north. Friend of mine that I went to school with said that uh, there was a 95 degree difference between from where I was and where she was in upstate New York. That's a big difference. Okay, here we go. Linda wants to know, are those primary element pigments? They're all different. This was Nightfall from This Little Piggy. Abalone Shell from Color Art. Crushed Velvet from Color Art. Art Alchemy Frozen Berries. And Fresh Lilac from Color Art. I have these sorted by color. <laughs> oh my goodness. Where am I going to put all these? Because now I have more. <laughs> my goal was to clean that shelf off for the Prash Posse paints that don't have silicone in them. So I may have to build me a system for these. Baby Dow wants to know where's that alchemy paint from? I bought it off of a girl on Etsy. You can get it from joggles.com, J-O-G-G-L-E-S. She's got pretty much all the colors. There's some amazing colors. And they all have, um, they're all metallics. So like I have Ice Queen, we'll use that next. And then Midnight Sky and Vintage Rose. And then she has like Unicorn and Fairy and there's so many. I think I have 14 and then I have a few more coming that I don't have mixed yet. Let me blow in that middle just to see if I can get it to do something. Apparently, I didn't blow it out far enough. I'm going to be stuck with a black middle, I think. Sue Jansen wants to know, can you mix pigments with Floetrol and Liquitex? Yes. 
Um, Tammy Anderson's a good one to watch for that. She has like a, I don't want to say a recipe, but she'll show you um, what consistency to look for as well. She deals with the color art pigments all the time. And Laura Thompson wants to know, can you use your airbrush? I tried it with airbrush. I don't get anything. It's too, uh, makes too many like tentacles instead of the blowing it out better. I have puffed the middle before with the airbrush. Let me see if I'll, I can show you. It's pretty much the same as blowing with the turkey baster, but sometimes you'll get like clusters, like see that's bringing the white up. And Jana McCarty says she loved your paintings during the week from Scotland. Thank you. Oops. All right, let's spin her. Let's see what she does. One little spot here that didn't go on that one too. So that would be another thing we got to remember to tack the uh, spinner down at the retreat so it doesn't move in the tub. Look how pretty that is. Tack it down. Yeah, I'll take, I have tacky strip already packed. I'm thinking of all these things. Let me top that one up. All right, so these are canvases. These definitely need four cups. This will change a little bit more in the middle as that cell activator starts to sink. I see a lot of people with spinners and they have handles on them. And I know um, Sherry Romero, she has popsicle sticks. I think she glued them underneath. Yeah, I tried the shelf liner. I just didn't feel like cleaning it all the time. <laughs> She's being a stinker, isn't she? She just wants to play. She's bored all day watching me work. So if you tape it, does it come off though, Deanne? Because that would be my fear. Like I'd pull it and then everything would go flying. Yep. So next time I do these, I'm hoping my glass cabochons will be here for my wine corkers. Because I would like to do some wine corkers with that bloom runoff. <clears throat> Grab your canvas, Mr. Welch. Thank you. You know who uh, I know you are. I can't, you, you can't give her anything noisy. Too late, right? She find her two liter bottle. No. <laughs> now she plays with a two liter bottle, not a water bottle. Uh -uh. Hey, hey, hey. Mm -mm. Children. She's worse than children. She's a stinker. All right, so he's ready. Yep. Hot glue. That's a good idea. Mm 
Hey. <laughs> Did you see Gloria's? She might have missed it, but how much base are you putting on six by six? Um, that is a one third of a cup. I use a half a cup for a eight by eight. So here's what made me mad. I bought her a whole bag of popcorn. She doesn't. She puts them in her mouth and spits them back out. Here, go take one to Eddie. He'll eat it. I don't like your crappy treats, but something's got to entertain her. And if we go out to eat, we have to buy her chicken nuggets or chicken tenders. <laughs> Should I tell them about my roast beef sandwich? Oh, my <laughs> so, Alan and I stopped at Arby's on the way home. <clears throat> I was taking a bite out of my roast beef sandwich, and so was she at the same time. <laughs> She's like, I want what you're having. That was after. Oh, you. my God. It was so funny. I said, that's it. Got it, babe? I think I got this now. Does Miko do that, Shelly? Bite whatever you're eating? <laughs> yeah, I don't want to get her on that yet. Cecilia, because she's only like six months old. I'm trying to wait till she's a year old before I start doing the peanut butter Kong, because right now she'll lose it somewhere. Things don't, she like takes stuff and she doesn't know where she puts it. We found so much stuff under the couch. Okay, color choices. You ate up those. She does like them now, Ellen. She had, of course she that's does. what it is. You gotta break them up for her. Ha ha. Jasper yeah. Red. Who is that from? That's color art. Vintage Rose. What's that say? Art, Art Al Alchemy. Alchemy. Firefly. That's color art. This one's bright. Ooh, Jasmine. Jasmine. That's color art. So you're doing pinks. Pinks and reds, of course. It's like trying to pour a perfect pancake. It isn't. It is. <laughs> and that's the consistency you want, too. Wear up that griddle. Brian said nobody will get me right back. I'll wait right here. <laughs> Um, Shelly, I'm going back to the Valspar. I like it better. Color place is okay. I don't know. I just had better luck with the Valspar. So I'm going to start with the Jasmine. I'm sorry, the Jasper Red. Then I'm going to go with the Jasmine.
That's a really bright pink. It is a pretty color. <laughs> I do love Midori Melon too. Mm -hmm. Let's follow that up. The art are kind of vintage. We have vintage rose. Uh, we were talking about pillow paint, Laura. I like the bells far better. Hi, Mike. Hi, Ghost. Finish up with the firefly. Can I offer you a suggestion? Shoot. Put another dark color down because the firefly looks so good over a dark color. Can you pick another dark pink? Like oh, I'm a grammar. That's fine. Pomegranate from Color Art. Get over here. You over here. You come over here. Get over here. You're not getting any more. You had six. That's plenty. Go finish your dentin. You left all your little pieces of dog food in there. You ate your meatloaf and didn't eat your doggy pebbles. Hi, Kev. Now we're going with Firefly. <laughs> she thinks I want to play with her. That was a good verb. Come here. Wants in a minute. Come here. Come here. Who taught you how to bark? Your brother? Okay. All those months with no bark. Stop. And we're going to go with the cell activator. I don't know where it went. Okay. I'm actually losing it a little over on this edge already. Well, I should turn it. When we see it going, you should turn it the other way. This way first. What? You're okay. I like the way you do that with the dryer. What? Pretty. You got to blow it out. Blow That's this, fine. This way. Yep. I should go low or leave it on cool. Gotta be on cool. Yep. It's 
beautiful. You got peacock cells. And they're color inside of color inside of color. Pretty. So. A little more white along the edge. Also, you guys, I'm going to start a paint sale on Wednesday. So if you were planning on getting paint, wait. We're going to do the 12 jars for 100 free shipping. Four ounce jars, right? Yep. I'm going to run it for two weeks. Any color you want in those 12 jars. <coughs> I'm just standing here watching you. Why are you watching me? Quit staring at me. Gosh, that's pretty. It's too bad we couldn't get some over there. You can. No, we can't. It'll mess it up. No bet. Don't you don't monkey with it once you've got it. When what do you mean? When it's doing something like next to it, like you would not want to disturb that. Because then you'll end up with a line. Poke your, said, poke don't your, be poke, scared. Well, don't be scared, but you need to blow your center just a little bit and poke your bubbles. Poke your bubbles. Now, we aren't using any posse paints. Straight down. I knew you were going to do that. <laughs> of course. You didn't so, get anything, though. Am I in your way? <laughs> nope, see? See what? You had to mess it up, didn't you? <laughs> so now you can fix that? How? I didn't know I broke it. So How? Take, take this little thing. How here. did I break it? Because you got to get rid of that white. I don't like it. Take this little thing and dip it in your cell activator and pull it across now to make sure you cover that white. Yeah. I threw a handful of her little training treats. She's like, no, nope, you got to go flatter. You can't dig in like that. You didn't go far enough. Mm -hmm. Ah. ah. She's such a perfectionist. Oh, I wouldn't say I'm a perfectionist. What's well, better than the big white patch that was there? Uh, can says, we do the Linda, same? Linda, Linda says she's right. <laughs> Can, can we do something about that bald patch on the top of my head? No, I've tried already. Where do you want this? Right there, because we may need it again. <laughs> you need to hurry up, because this is slide, it's sliding off. You need to poke those little bubbles, or hit it with the torch, one or the other. Not too much. All right, now you can oh, spin it. it. They may come off when you spin it, because they're on the ends. I know, you what a wimpy spin. <laughs> I didn't even have to. Ooh. Yeah. Okay. That's pretty. What are you afraid what of? You when just, you, what are you afraid of when you spin I don't that? want my canvas flying off. It's the, not going to go anywhere because it's stuck down with paint. Oh, you got almost got that white off. One more. I just don't like to lot of, leave a lot of paint on the canvas because I'm always afraid it will crack. Look at right well, here on the edge. You can touch those with your finger. Oh, no, 
Oh, she's fast. Okay, we have a little, little child over here. Uh-oh. -uh. Stop. Stop. It didn't come over the edge here. Ellie. God, I wish I could capture that. Pulling it. She wants you. That's why she's putting her paw on his arm. <laughs> like, take me, Dad. Okay. We think. Let me hit those bubbles real quick. I got them. There was two I couldn't lift up. Now what? I mean, that's that's fine. That's pretty. You don't always have to have all them little juicy cells. I like like the juicy cells. I know you too. <laughs> I was like, uh oh. <laughs> Yeah, I'm destroying the sides. That's all right. They're still going to grow. You might be all right. Mine can't pop so. All right. Pretty colors. You're dripping all over my floor. I am dripping. I don't want her to lick it. Gloves off. Thank you. Oh. <coughs> okay, I got the cat dog. You didn't give me a chance to clean up. You didn't last time either. Because you were in such a hurry. It was so nice last week to not have dog <laughs> or anybody here. <laughs> Just kidding. If I could hear my comments instead of having to read them, I'd probably go live by myself all the time. Thank you, Cecilia. Thank you, Janet. He picked good colors for that one. I have to agree. All right. Quarter after 10. We're going to a round. We're going to go a little bigger. Getting it centered is fun. That'll work. That'll work. Thank you, Tara. Thank you, Shelly. Hi, Tara. Okay. So what colors out of the 81 are you going to use this time? I have to go with this Ice Queen because it's been staring at me all night. So I'm going to use Ice Queen and Midnight Sky. Laura wants to know, is it canvas or cradled wood? It's canvas. And let's use Periwinkle. Nope. Change my mind. Where's my robin's egg? Brian's getting yelled at. Brian, what are you doing? Not paying attention and he's napping again. Um, you wanna know what happened? Um 
interference blue. I hear that almost bark, Ellie. See, some of these blues don't make, oh, I know what color I want. Thought I mixed up Payne's gray, but I don't see it. <sighs> I have too many to look through to find it. If I take out, oh, I really want that ice cream though. Okay, so I'm going to do TLP Tail Feather because it's a greenish blue. So one. I need something in between those two. Let's do a, let's do a gold. Some of these have been mixed over a year, like <laughs> last, last December 2019. <laughs> I just added a little more poly to them and they work fine. All right, so this size canvas is an eight by eight, well, eight inch round. So I'm gonna need more than one scoop of paint. So I'll do one. What's the biggest bloom that you've seen done? I did a 16 by 16, well, 16 inch round. And I did a 10 by 20 swipe tilt. But I've seen um, Lisa Marvin does big ones. Okay. All right, I'm going to do tail feather first because that's a different shade of blue but I like the iridescent in it. It's kind of a gold, gold green. Uh-uh, don't bother me. I'm busy. Go away. <laughs> so I'm gonna put the Ice Queen right on top of that. This reminds me of our Silver Lake. Would have been a good name for our Silver Lake. Then we'll go with the Midnight Sky. Nope, take it back. I'll put my interference blue there. I have so much paint here, Sarah. <laughs> it's not even funny. Mixed. Like, ready to go. We have a paint wall with about 160 bottles of paint on it. Mixed, ready to pour. That was the Midnight Sky from our Alchemy. Okay, Interference Gold. I had to get that bubble and it didn't pop anyway. A lot of these I was monkeying with today, so they have the bubbles in them. But that's all going to disappear when I blow it anyway. Okay. Cell activator. A little bit more. So we have a little more surface to cover. All right, let's blow. 
Here comes the dryer. Monica, why do you have to pack your stuff up? Are you moving? Or are you getting a new house? Hi, Heather. <gasps> Get it too hard there, darn it. I'll fix it because I don't want that. To turn this and let it do its thing. I love those little spoons. I was looking for new containers because these have that lip on the edge and all the mica gets stuck in there from the color art pigments. But I want to make sure I find something that my spoons will fit in. Because why dirty another spoon? Oh, I'm so happy for you, Monica. Hopefully you'll have a nice big art room. Okay. She's up. Let's spin. Oh, that interference gold is so pretty in there. Oh, love. One more. Well, hopefully something will come up through there as it sits. She's barely moving, so I think I got enough paint off. He's in the house, Brian. <laughs> he took the puppy and left. It's got little things popping up here. Oh, they're back. <laughs> so it was quiet for a minute there, wasn't it? I know. I'm trying to keep it occupied. See that interference? Straight on, you don't notice it until I tilt. See, it's all mixed in all the way around. It's going to be pretty when it's dry. I hope the color doesn't sink. That ice... The Ice Queen in them are acrylic paint, so hopefully they won't sink. They're not just mica. Um, he left without giving me cups. <laughs> Hold on. I don't use push pins on these when I'm using the spinner because they don't work right with push pins. But I'll have to put push pins in after they dry so I can resin them. Okay. 
I don't have any. So much bigger. Than I don't have any bigger ones prepped. I took the ones that were prepped. Cause I need to spend a day taking off canvases, and I have a new um, cabinet coming that has 16 by 16 slots, and I ordered the extra shelves for it so I can fit, I think, 16 paintings in it. So when I go to varnish, I'll have a place to store them. It'll save me some room on my shoe racks. Let's do an oval. I gotta take the push pins out though, don't I? You want me to take them out? Can ya? Are you going to need a pair of pliers to get them out? You don't? Because I nailed them in pretty tight. So while you're doing that, I'm going to pick out colors. No, I'm going to do it right. Pupper's not going to let him do anything. She doesn't see him all day, so she demands his attention. <clears throat> all right. Ooh, these are new ones. Where do you want these put? You can leave them right there, because I'll be putting them back in when it's dry. So this one, is our alchemy, is Blackberry. It's kind of a purpley brown. It's really pretty. So I'm going to use that and then we're going to use um, some orange. Um, Where did she get this from? Oh, I dropped a couple on the floor today. She ate the color off. What color is that? Malachite. Oh, I don't have that one mixed. Hmm. <laughs> So I think I'll use the mango mamba with that. It's kind of a yellow, like a deeper golden yellow. And of course we'll have to have a gold with that. And how about I have peachy. We could use the golden peach from TLP. This color is so pretty too. I don't know if you guys can see the gold. Isn't that gorgeous? All right, and I almost want to use a turquoise in there. I don't know. All right, so we'll use this other art, art alchemy. This is Iris Potion. Shelly, I'm having a ball with these new colors. Let's see if I can get it up there. Isn't that gorgeous? Okay. Let's get some paint down. So I like to, when I do an oval, I like to go towards the sides there. Because when I spin, it has a little bit of a head start. Break down and order what, Shell? The Art Alchemies? All right, so let's start with <laughs> uh, the Blackberry. I'm going to make like a ovaly puddle. Okay. 
Yeah, they're on sale right now, Laura, for I think they're five something, five fifty-three, I wanna say. Okay, let's go with do I wanna put that there? Yeah, let's put the mango on there. Cause that's got more of a brownish hue to it than purple. And then we'll do the golden peach. These are this little piggy pigments. This ought to be interesting. And the iris potion. This is very glittery. And I think I'm going to put an interference violet on top of that. So I do want to pull that purple a little bit. Well, I bought almost, almost all of the TLPs, but I bought them for a reason. I bought them so that the girls can have fun with them at the retreat. So I put like two heaping spoons and containers to take to the retreat. I like to share things that people don't normally buy so they can try them, which can be a bad thing in a way because then it's like, oh, I want to buy those and I don't have the money. And, and then we have poor Catherine who lives in Canada and um, it's hard for her to get stuff. Okay. these back over there getting a pile around me so you'll probably see some bloom videos this week all right let's see I want to make sure I get enough because I got to blow the sides out what did I miss hi spicy Let me grab my um, mouse, hold on. I can scroll back up real quick. Uh, no, I'm not shipping paints to Canada on the sale, in case anybody was wondering. And I'm not sure what flat rate is. It's like 40 some bucks. see what'll come up in that metal. I'm not sure I like that mango mamba in there now. <laughs> Shipping out of the U.S. is crazy expensive. For the blooms, Laura, um, I like the color art pigments for the interferences. But for painting, I love the golden. Let me poof that middle with my airbrush and see. We're going to get some. I see some bubbles coming. I don't want to get too many clusters, though. I might have used a little too much interference or cell activator. 
It's the same as the base of Bri, it's just easier on my lungs. <laughs> Speaking of, hand me one of those, Alan, those physios next to my printer. The, the, the air physio. Oh. So th this was recommended to me, so I bought some. It's called the air physio. It's a little apparatus to help people that have um, chronic mucus in their lungs. So I'm going to start using that tomorrow. They just came. So I'll let you know how it works. So if anybody has like COPD or emphysema or um, chronic bronchitis or any of that stuff, it's supposed to help. Which is what you believe you have, correct? Chronic bronchitis, yeah. And then yesterday I was eating a piece of dark chocolate and I sneezed for like 45 minutes. And that's like a big no-no. Can't be allergic to dark chocolate. All right, I'm going to spin. It's going to have to come this way. Because I have no white on that side. I do there, though. All right, let's spin it. I'm scared to spin it because it's an oval. <laughs> Oh, that's pretty. I love that iris potion. Mm -hmm. And then this one here. What color? That's got to be the first one I used that. <laughs> Put them all the way. I don't remember. The blackberry. I got to spin it one more time because I think there's still too much paint on it. Just a little one. There. It's good. Yeah, that's pretty. It's pretty. So that blackberry and that mango mamba made like a green gold. Um, can't get the glare. There we go. See, isn't that pretty? I love that iris potion. Except for that white spot in the middle. But after it, it might sink. If not, I'm going to go touch it with that um, iris potion just to knock it down. Pretty. Very pretty. Oh, he was good. He put the cups up for me. <laughs> he must be watching on his fire. <laughs> Yeah, I will dab it. Let me see if I can just dab it with my finger. Because it'll erase it. See? He's gone now. I brought the um, interference up. I hate touching blooms because sometimes you can mess them up. If I turn it this way, you should see the pink and purple. Gosh, it's pretty. I wonder if I can turn it around and show you that part. Because that's really pretty. See the pink and purple? That's that iris potion. And the... What was the other purple I used? I don't know. I wasn't here. No. 
I know. Why weren't you here? I was babysitting. <laughs> Puppy sitting. Puppy sitting. No, no belly. Is it about time for something? Oh, yeah. We need to do a giveaway. And then we'll do one more painting. What will we give away? Um, that little square over there. Ah! Hey. Uh-uh. We're not doing that. This little square? Yes. Yeah. Can we pull that away a little? Let me clean it off first so it's ready for the next one. Next time, I'll have cabs ready to go, I hope. Because some of those would make some great magnets. Ellie, don't, don't jump on me. That's not going to work. It's rude. It's rude, girl. So if you haven't won a prize in the past 30 days, you can play. But if you've won, have you graciously sit out on this. And we have our quarterly sponsor giveaway coming up April 1st. So... No fooling. No fooling. Okay, slide that back. All right. So tonight's prize is a bloom. A little bloom. She is all resin. She's six by six. You'd make cute little, put it in a little corner somewhere. Or you could put it on a little stand. So this is our prize tonight. If you're in the U.S., free shipping. If you're outside of the U.S., you pay the shipping if you win. Al giving me a number. Ellie's helping. Ellie's giving me the number. All right, so if Ellie picked the number, guys, you should know it. <laughs> Ooh. That's a different one. <laughs> Is everybody refreshed and ready? Well, I kind of want that. <laughs> so you'll be picking a number between 1 and 50. And whoever guesses this number first will be our winner. Okay, I don't see anybody telling me to wait. <laughs> That's true. All right, guys, on your mark, get set, go. Now. So don't time yourself out. Hey. Oh my goodness, she's so bad. Come on. Fifteen seconds more. Here it is. Nita. 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 Nita H. Nita. Need to make sure you email me. Their number was 43. Stop, please. So, need to email me with your mailing address and we'll get this right out to you. We have a winner. Congrats, Nita. Congratulations, Nita. You guys can stop now. That's a good number. 
was a good number. It took them a while. They were all around it, though. I know. <laughs> they had 41s and 44s and 42. So this will be our last painting tonight. You got your round. Yep, I got my round. I'm going to take Ellie with me. Okay, we'll see you. Ciao. Ciao, All right, I think I have enough paint in there. I think I do. Okay, let's see what I've got left. Or shades of color anyways. I want to do something with these three. Actually, these four. Let's see. So I have unicorn hair, butterfly spells, Mermaid Sparkle and Fairy Wings. And I need one darker turquoise in there. Let's do Magical Pond. So let's do these five colors. Okay, I'm going to move these out of the way because otherwise I won't remember what I've got going here. Okay, so these are all our alchemy. Let's see how they work all together. I'm just moving them around the way I want to put them on. down. All right, let's start with Magical Pond. This is kind of like that Iris Potion with that glittery Metallic, it's really pretty. So that'll be really sparkly. Sparkly. I'm getting tired. I'm going to start getting silly. Okay, Fairy Wings is a gold green. These colors are so pretty. I'm so glad that I bought these. That Once I bought that dark forest, I wanted to try more colors. Because I just fell in love with the dark forest. So they do make um, a coral green, which is a weird name because I didn't see any green in it at all. But it's not like knockout. It's not iridescent, it's more glittery. Okay, so this one is unicorn hair. It's not the prettiest color, but it's shiny. I have a couple coming. I think they're um, a turquoise and another rose color. Okay, butterfly spells. This is another glittery color. This is pretty. It's a little more coral than our um, rose shimmer. Heirloom rose. And you can use our paints for blooms. I have some mixed up that I use occasionally. But these are, these <laughs> shifts and uh, glitters are so much fun. I can't get my paint to shift like that. There's not enough mica powder. Okay, and this one was Mermaid Sparkle.
Thank you, Nita. All right, let's get our cell activator on there. Bubble City. Get that big one. I don't mind the white cell activator. I just like the the black because it's a little more dramatic when you blow it out. It just makes everything pop. Good night, Janet. Sleep well. Okay, let's blow it out. Here comes the dryer. Looks like a unicorn threw up on there. <laughs> All the colors showed up for the party. Um, Janice, when we do that giveaway, you just you can keep guessing. You just want to be careful because YouTube will time you out if you guess too many times. Then it'll make you sit and wait for I think it's three hundred seconds. <laughs> Isn't that what it is? Three hundred seconds or something like something that. Something like that. Doesn't that look like a uni unicorn blew up? Uh, looks like a beta <laughs> fish, all black beta fish in the middle. Hey, what are you doing back out here, <laughs> Missy? I know when I spin this out, that'll um, release this a little bit. So what I'm doing right now is just moving it under the white base so that the color can come up. If I find this hair dryer again on Amazon, I'll make sure it goes in the Amazon shop because this is perfect for doing blooms. And I will have one of these at the retreat for everyone that's going. Wow. I like that. Butterfly spells. That's what this is coming up in. It's like all the colors are there. I'm so happy. I'll spin it out and see what we got. Okay. This is a good way to test spins too to see how long it takes for the paint to dry in them. A little flocculation from my um, cell activator, which is odd. But I think it has something to do with grabbing the interference. It looks like a, a wing. There's another white spot. Get rid of that. I don't think I want to spin it again because if I do, I'm going to lose. Those cells are going to get way too big. Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking 7 o'clock for the auction, but I'm not positive yet. I have to do some analytic research to see when people are active on Saturdays on YouTube. It'll be from my viewers. It'll say my viewers. What do you think, guys? The mermaid sparkle is really pretty in there. The magical pond is kind of there. <laughs> April for, oh, for the giveaway? 
Um, probably seven or eight. More likely seven, just so I can get it done. So let's tilt and see where we got interference. It's sparkly. Like the whole top of it is like glittery. Um, kind of like when you use, um, you know, like when you use 24K and like that transparency shows up on the top. That's what this glittery stuff does. Let's make it those bubbles. Yeah, you guys can't see it like I can see it. I'm going to leave this one here because I got to make room for it. I have like a hundred paintings sitting here waiting to be finished. So <laughs> I got to move some somewhere. So guys, do you have any questions? Any more questions before I leave? Brian, do you need a hair dryer? Brian would have a hair dryer if he, never mind, I ain't going to say it. <laughs> uh, they're Art Alchemy. They're fin, fin Bar. I don't know where I put them or I'd show you the jar. You hide things on yourself. I do hide things on myself because that's what I do. I thought I stuck them on this shelf. Go. So if you really want to look at them, go to joggles.com and type in art alchemy. What? No, that's not it. And then you can see all the beautiful colors. There's probably, she's probably got like 25. And I only bought, I think, 14, so... But thanks so much for coming tonight, guys. We love you all. Thank you for the donations. I appreciate it very much. And um, we will see you next Monday. Have a great evening. Bye now. <laughs>